If this is the first video you're watching from my channel, I moved into my own studio apartment about five months ago. Uh, and it has taken me this long to make a studio apartment tour because it took me a very long time to get money for furniture. And I didn't want to give you the bare bones apartment tour. This is a, real, a cheaper studio for New York City. It's still ridiculous, but I do pay $14.50 a month and that is discounted a couple hundred dollars a month. I think originally it was $1,800. So I'm going to take you like wall by wall because if if i didn't this tour would last about 25 seconds i mean technically this is wall number one over here all of my masks and then this is one of the best tips i have for you is to hang your keys on a hook i haven't lost my keys once and that is saying something this is actually the apartment tour cardboard box rent 1900 not including utilities no storage space but you know rustic feel really good deal really good deal also by the door i have a shoe rack this is all the shoes that i have on the shoe rack <laughs> is my recycling so let's take a little bathroom tour i know i know i know about the floors they look like they're dirty but this is what they look like after i mop and yes i did mop for you shiny black floors they're just really streaky so even when it's clean it looks dirty this is where shit happens moving on i'm lucky to have like a renovated sink good appliances toothbrush i get a lot of my um soaps and stuff from trader joe's actually all of these are from trader joe's so if i back up that's kind of like the full size of the mirror it's smaller on one side and larger on the other and you open it up heartburn get out that heartburn moving on to the shower Sorry, I forgot to clean the drain before I filmed this. You know, sometimes you get an itchy scalp. I don't care what you say. Any like men's body wash in general is superior to women's, no question. The shower head, it's just beautiful. It is a rainfall shower. Um, and then I went to Union Square Market and bought some, what is that called? It's not echinacea, it's not euthanasia. What is that called? <laughs> What is that called? Bath mat, dollar store, a regular shower mat. I think I got that at Bed Bath & Beyond. If you want realistic room tour, this is it. No one's bathroom looks organized and clean all the time. So why would I give you a room tour if it didn't reflect how my room actually looks? So, hooray. What's up? <laughs> kind of like my desk, dining room area. This table, my best friend found for me on the side of the street. We found out recently that this is actually from Ikea. I do want to stain it to make it a little darker wood. This table does collapse, so it's really good for small spaces, but also the other side comes up too, so it can be a really long table. And up here, I do want something. Ooh, sorry. Up here, I do want something like some art, a picture painting or something. Also including just flowers. I think it's so important. And these are my favorite daffodils. I'm getting carried away, sorry. It's my laptop where I edit, where I edited this video and all the other ones. I'm so proud of this bookshelf. I set this up by myself and the description or in the instructions that it takes two people. I don't know, I get so much pride personally from setting things up by myself that it says needs two people. My pothos, she's been hanging around us for a while now. She's been in like my first video. And these are all the journals that I have finished. These are some of my favorite books at the moment. Book ended by a lovely candle. I really, really love uh, Beth. All of these stores sound the same. Beth. Bath and Body Works. Yeah. So I get all my candles from them, but I never buy them full price. Don't spend $25 on a candle. Don't do that. This is my favorite author. So all my books from him go right here. This is like a little... It's everything I need to reach for to film a video and to edit it. I just love books. I love to read. Show off those books. Show them off. They've been in my closets and storage for so long and now it's so fun to show them off. These are my business cards for YouTube. I don't know. I used to think that was a necessary thing. But this is what they look like. Yeah, I don't know you guys. All sorts of glasses. Why do I even have these glasses? I'm literally wearing a lace shirt. I don't have the edge for this. So this is a piece of art that I did myself. So please don't judge me. I painted this when I was 
confused. <laughs> I don't know, but it's something and it's hiding some mistakes I made trying to drill this into the wall. And down here, oh, I think I still have the tag on this. That's embarrassing. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> So this is where I have, I keep my yoga stuff, a little yoga blanket, a foam roller because I'm a runner, and then I have a yoga block. I cannot do this one-handed, Lord. Help me. And then my yoga mat, it really needs to be replaced. I have two closets. This is probably the messiest closet. Board games, because I like to entertain. Honestly, if, some, if people don't like playing games, then I don't want to be around you. Games are so fun, and they really are good at breaking the ice. The best purchase I've ever made, though, from Ikea is, oh Lord. it has a screwdriver, hammer, adjustable, everything. And it was like $12, you need that. I'll just keep tapping it until you get my point. If you don't have bags within bags in your house, are you even human? Just laundry stuff, you know, got my iron cause I'm an adult. And then I have a little ironing board, <laughs> it's so small. Just some hats, scarves and stuff, backpack, some running gear, umbrella. The next closet. All my coats and my dresses are back there. You know, my little ho 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 dresses ready for when those clubs reopen. You have cords everywhere. The world is watching and you are a mess. Oh my God. Is this the moment where I do an outfit of the day? I'm not gonna do an outfit of the day. This is not what this channel is about. This dresser is the bane of my existence. You see how that top left drawer is uneven. Like there's a little gap space gap between all the drawers. That one doesn't have one. I know. I tried. You know how long this took me to put together? 10 hours. Just don't order furniture from Bed Bath & Beyond. Spare yourself. This is just my calm space and I love it. This is, you know, my view. It doesn't lead to the street or anything, so I feel okay like putting this on the internet. A stained glass lotus my sister made me for Christmas a couple years ago. I just love it. I think she should start an Etsy shop. This fan. Fuck, don't buy this fan. It sounds like an exorcism when you turn it on. And uh, I couldn't sleep last night and I woke up really hungry. So that's why there's food here. Oh, this lighting. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's just a bed, you guys. Living room. Wow, here we are. I like having garbage cans everywhere, even though my apartment's like super small. This table I love because it can make it like a little desk and then it only has these legs on one side. So it's literally a desk. Small spaces, you gotta be creative. So this is kind of like an unfinished part of the apartment. Just imagine a circle mirror right there. I think that would add a nice aesthetic to it. Um, and also I was thinking of painting this wall and that wall, like a dusty, really light gray blue. This couch I love, but it's it's not the most comfortable. It's in need of some throw pillows for sure, but it does the job and it's very small. And below, I wanna put a rug on the ground too. Just, you know, keep the feet warm. And this is my entertainment area. At the beginning of quarantine, remember when everyone was playing Animal Crossing? I was one of them. Along with Animal Crossing, I have Spyro. You remember this guy? So cute, right? Uh, and this TV stand, it was two for 40. Um, it was this one, and then I got another one, which was in that first closet you saw. The kitchen. The fact that I have a full-size fridge is amazing. Yeah, man. I don't know, leftovers. This is my old coffee maker, which is now replaced with this Ninja one, which I got for free. My best friend, Corinne, needed to get rid of it, so she gave it to me, and it is amazing. It's so nice having an actual coffee maker. I do this a lot, I'm, I'm not even Italian. My little blender, and then as nice as this basket is, I don't put any food in the bottom part anymore because I was getting bugs. Everything stays on the top. <laughs> this whole dish setup, I freaking love, and then the sink is just amazing. Like, uh, the variety. This is the best thing I have. And it wasn't a thing I was like requiring when I was looking for a place, but it just happened to have it. And it's really narrow, but how much space do you need? If I, there's no space there, I just wash it there. Easy. I just, this is the most beautiful thing. <laughs> Gas oven, it's full size. Microwave. Yeah, I was debating showing this or not, but I feel like I feel like those people who give kitchen tours and show organized 
Tupperware cabinets, don't trust them. No, everyone's looks like this, everybody's. And if you're spending time organizing that, then you have too much time on your hands. I have to remind myself that I just feel so grateful every single day that I wake up here because I spent just so much of my life not having this. And now I've been able to make it work for myself and it's just the best feeling ever to wake up here every day. I just, I'm in love with it, I really am. I can still enjoy it while it's unfinished and I hope you can too. It's like that Natasha Bedingfield song. The rest is still unwritten. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and ring that little bell. Have a great day and thanks for joining me. Bye.